Hey. Hey. We are Marmalade Tour. One half of Marmalade yep. Tour, a full-time travel family from the UK. We are traveling Europe in by a motorhome, motorhome with our two children uh, to see what we can find. Yeah. And um, we were in Luxembourg um, in February and we thought we'd show you some of the things that happened while we were there and we visited a great castle called Borscheid and uh, it's wonderful so we wanted to show you around that and also show you a really cool motorhome air that we found and um, just, just a couple of other random other shenanigans that happened so shenanigans. let's we're gonna show you some of the crazy stuff at the end let's jump straight into showing you Borscheid Castle because it's amazing you're keeping me on yeah I'm strapped in This is why this castle was so powerful. Back in the days of medieval weapons, the reason this castle was so what powerful. Are medieval weapons? It just means weapons a long, long time ago. Medieval is a time period. So they didn't have guns and things like that. They had like spears and bows and arrows, but you're yeah. so high up here that they couldn't reach you.
so what did you think of that place? Amazing. Um, cheap. Brilliant. Mysterious. Mysterious. With all the fog and the mist. Yeah. It's I think it's probably amazing in the sun, but I am actually glad yeah, it was misty when we were I'm there. I'm glad it was misty. Yeah. It's just it was lovely. awesome. Um, Go when it's misty. Yeah. And it was, there wasn't any, I don't dare I say it, coronavirus panic on when we were there, but it was just empty because mm. it was midweek and maybe because it was February, I suppose. Yeah. But, but the car park was pretty small. Uh, we didn't really mention that in the video. Uh, there may have been another car park further down the road, but we didn't see it. And I'd say there wasn't parking for that many cars, but you can fit your motorhome in there. Um, Indeed. But get there early if you don't want to be disappointed. But um, getting there wasn't quite as straightforward as we thought <laughs> because yeah so it was my first time driving the motorhome in Europe but I thought yeah this this place looks fun I'll try it I'll try it out for the first time here you know um, and then Scott failed to tell me in fact we both failed to realize where castles are usually located hilltops right yeah <laughs> what are the roads like to get to castles normally yeah they're not straight motorways are they so I said a lot of bad words I enjoyed it, even though I moaned a lot about it. I like to moan. Yeah. <laughs> My ear hurts. Um, no, not really. Um, you did really, really well. But uh, some of the roads, it, they weren't bad roads, but they were like a lot of hairpin turns. Mm. But everything was suitable for a motorhome easily, it really. It was, yeah, it really was. Um, suitable for a beginner in a motorhome. So, enjoy this bit. This is basically the 30 minutes before arriving at Borshard Castle. This is what happened. So the first time I'm driving in a different country, the first time I'm properly driving the motorhome, Scott sends us up a freaking windy road mountain to a castle. It's very lovely of him. I don't know where you're pointing that, Scott, like at the window. I haven't encountered a bus yet. I didn't know he had a bus. Mel's first drive on the right. La 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 la. They better not be uphill. Yeah. Not check that. sharp left here. Like real sharp. I'm staying in third gear by the way, it's probably a I can hear it mate. It's probably a bad That's a fast river, don't send us into that one now. I'll try not to. Yeah. Turn right onto County Road 308. This is a 56, piss off. Slow down, we're turning right here, slow oh, down, shit. slow down. How am I meant to turn right there? Can we go over that? Is there like speed up? Oh, gosh. What's this shit? So there you go, it's been um, an experience. <laughs> Oh no, you can't go in there. Oh, no. Over there. In here? Don't kill these people though. I could do. What's the deal? After enjoying the castle and the audio guides, the kids loved the audio guides. Yeah. Um, we were all feeling a bit peckish. So we, the good thing about having a motorhome outside is you've got all your food with you. Um, so yeah, we headed back out to the motorhome to get some food. Um, and one thing Scott had picked up while we were... It's a selection it? of Dutch breads. Yeah. What was it called? Uh, Volkenbrood. Volkenbrood. And, and it looked fun. Mm, yeah, we thought we liked to try new food, so yeah, we thought yeah. we'd try this bread. We didn't think about how this type of food might be eaten. We just thought we'd just give it a try. Just try it, see what it tastes like. Yeah, and it, well, let's just say the experience didn't end up how I thought it was going to end up. We all loved it. I'm quite optimistic generally <laughs> about food, but have a look. <laughs> this is us enjoying some Dutch bread. Nom, nom, nom. Vulcan breed. Go now. No. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it gets worse. Oh my god, oh no. 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 Jesus Christ, it's like a beer mat. No. <laughs> oh. Maybe we're eating them wrong. Oh, she went for it. <laughs> it's a mistake. Move your drinks behind. Let's see what's. Oh. <laughs> 
It's this one, chocolate. Don't tell her it's chocolate, you little rotter. No. No. <laughs> the most unedible one yet. <laughs> so, um, when visiting Borscheid, we actually stayed in a motorhome air called Fusukal. We wanted to know if we're saying that right. Um, it's the first place that we found to stay in Luxembourg, yeah. and it was cheap. Yes, it was, was it, it was 12? 12, 12 euros for the night out of season and 18 in season. That includes your electric, all of your white water, mm. um, grey water. Particularly powerful black. white water taps. Oh my god, yeah. We had some real issues with that because <laughs> we don't have, we, at that point we didn't have a proper tap connector, yeah. did we? We bought one actually from, it has a motorhome shop mm. on the air. Yes, but it was shut for a, like a week, wasn't it? Yeah. The day we were there. So. So we bought one from that mm. shop. We were going to buy one and it was 90 euros and we nearly had a heart attack and we got a cheaper <laughs> one for 30. Yeah. And it's been fine. It's, it's been yeah, really we love good. it. Yeah. It's basically an air and a campsite, but they're split by a main road. Um, so, the camp, so the kind of air was mm. kind of segregated, which was really nice. And the campsite was massive, wasn't it? Yeah, it was It was really cool, wasn't it? Yeah. It had loads of good stuff. It was. It even had a hairdresser's on site, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. Because yeah. you were going to get your hair cut. Yeah. I'm lucky. <laughs> yeah, I'm lucky. Um, but it had a, an indoor play. Yeah. It had an outdoor park um, in the main campsite bit. Yeah. It had... Recycling facilities. Yeah, good recycling facilities. The, the reception, actually, where you go to pay was amazing. Yeah. We got postcards from there. They gave us stamps. We bought some little bracelets for the kids they had a cat uh, they had a cat which is the most important part so it really was a motorhome air or a camping place mm. for um any, that had kind of everything you need there is a cafe there's a restaurant on site and then there's a cafe just just down the mm. street a little bit with the built onto the garage basically uh, really nice shop mm. at the cafe as well, and some nice cakes we had and stuff oh, like yeah. that. Oh yeah, the 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 counter in the shop looked good. Didn't yeah, it? <laughs> but they failed because some of you may know if you've seen our Belgian vlog, we've been on in search of something called Le Don Blanche, which we'd had many years ago in Belgium, which is uh, vanilla ice cream with a hot chocolate sauce and chantilly cream on it. Not doesn't sound that extravagant. Sounds like something that's easy to get, but. We, we just couldn't find it in Belgium this yeah. time and we found it, we were really excited because we just saw it by chance on the board in Luxembourg and it was just disappointing wasn't it? Yeah well I think when we had it the first time in Belgium Scott was really spoiled because it was like beautifully served and he had some hot chocolate to pour over it and it was just a great experience mm. and everywhere else I've seen it since then is just like some ice cream in a in a bowl of some sort with some chocolate sauce on yeah. top of it and that's kind of what this was the ice cream was great yeah wasn't it? it was really nice but it wasn't the experience you no it wasn't like hot dripping chocolate sauce yeah. like it should be and lovely cream on the top so yeah we had another failed la dame blanche so we'll keep keep yeah. looking on that keep, front keep <laughs> Um, but we have been some other places in Luxembourg. They're going to be on our next Luxembourg vlog. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be showing you around Luxembourg City and showing you another motorhome air that we stayed at, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. We actually really love it. The, the small country. It's so yeah. small. It's got so much to offer. We really loved it, I, didn't we? I think it's a really underrated place because whenever anybody talks about Luxembourg, they just say, oh yeah, cheap fuel, cigarettes. And, yeah, that's all we knew about it as yeah, well, Yeah, that's it? all we knew, but it was really, really amazing. Mm. I would say that um, one thing we noticed when we were driving around is the the... The quality of the houses mm. was the best that I've seen driving around anywhere. And for motorhomes, it was really, really good. Brilliant. Um, and there's a lot of nice cars. We did notice there, that as well. Yeah, there were, you yeah. could tell that Luxembourg, it just seemed comfortable with money. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we would recommend Luxembourg, definitely. Um, We'd recommend Borscheid Castle. Yes, really, really and love it And absolutely recommend Fussel Carl, especially yes. if you've got children. Yes, for the play area. God. Whether you've got them at home or you want to stay in yeah. um, some sort of chalet or yeah. camp, or there's a lot of options there and it really is, you don't really have to go anywhere. If so Luxembourg is somewhere you should think about mm. for rather than just a stopover. Think about it as somewhere to go. Yeah. You could um, easily spend a lot of time there. And get cheap fuel. <laughs> get cheap fuel yeah cheap fuel. the fuel is cheap there yeah. it's true uh, so thank you very much for watching uh, we hope you enjoyed our little tour around Borscheid and some of the 
quirky things that we did. Sorry about my language. <laughs> Something about what? Sorry. sorry about my language. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about Mel being angry with me. Um, but that's what I have to live with. So, you know, you just had a small glimpse Take of the, the rough with depression this move. that is my life. <laughs> um, at least I get to be in Luxembourg yeah, every so sometimes. often. Sometimes. Uh, <laughs> sometimes. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, and look out for our next Luxembourg video coming very soon. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you on our next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.